Mail Monday, episode 11. Good afternoon. Uh, this is my Mail Monday, my TV. I am uh, Christopher Michael Sanchez. I'm Zachary Meadscow. And this is where uh, we answer your questions. Uh, right. So to get right into it, uh, I got a, a couple questions from our friend in uh, Oregon. Karen asks, does Chris wear hats because he's bald? Mm, that no. is untrue. That is untrue. He's got I a, just love hats with ears. He's got a gorgeous head of hair. Gorgeous, like a Head and Shoulders commercial. May, maybe someday you'll see it. If you grew it long, he'd look like Troy Palomalo from the Steelers. <laughs> That's a little true, yeah. Uh, two, how is George doing over at the DPC? Is he going to stay there? Yeah, he's doing great. So George's situation, which is our little chihuahua, uh, he's been adopted by Caesar and Jen, who is one of the head trainers at the DPC, to take part in Caesar's Caesar 911, which is Caesar's television show, up through November. So because George's personality fits right for helping train human beings, as well as, as uh, educate their dogs. Uh, George is gonna be kind of, his talents are on, on showcase down there at the Dog Psychology Center. So we're gonna be visiting with him for sure in May when we do uh, fundamentals, the Training Caesars Way fundamentals again in May. So that'll be great. I've been getting updates from Jen weekly and, and um, he even modeled some of Caesars uh, apparel, which is pretty cool. So he's doing great. And uh, our last email question uh, from Kathy. Uh, is Marley's Mutt still considering adopting Blue and Maggie, and why? You know what, that's a really good question. Are we still considering adopting out Blue and Maggie? Uh, the answer is no. I, I was considering it because we had so much going on up here and with, with dominant, with such large dogs, uh, when I'm not spending enough time here, it can exacerbate, situations can develop that, that uh, are out of your control when you're not here. So when we had Blue, who's a powerful, um, personality, Maggie, Hooch, Diamond, all of these dogs up here, it, one, limited our ability to rescue other dogs, and two, created um, a kind of sketchy environment when I was away, and I didn't want, I wanted them all to be safe. So, now that Chris is with me, things are stabilized and everything's a lot more, a lot easier to handle, but being by myself and trying to handle all of that while still taking care of business was virtually impossible, so that's why we considered it for that for a period of time, so. Okay, uh, may I ask Zachary Scow, who's, yeah. this, who's this little guy? This little one, this is Tango. This is, who's this guy? This is Tango, Tango came from Korea. And there's been a lot of uh, confusion about Tango. Uh, Tango is a three-legged poodle. I think he's like an African poodle. Uh, Tango was not part of the meat trade, but Tango came to America with two rescue brothers and sisters who were part of the meat trade in Korea. So obviously a skinny little poodle is not gonna be ideal for the meat trade. Uh, so I wanted to stipulate that. There's been some confusion. The two other Jindos that came over from Korea with, uh, with Tango were part of the meat trade and will continue to work with NAMI and hopefully with Soy Dog Foundation about or, or to help meat trade dogs. Uh, these are dogs that are raised like livestock in Korea and other parts of the world, Thailand, China, to uh, to provide meat, just like any other type of livestock. The conditions are deplorable, and uh, there's been a big movement spearheaded by groups like Soy Dog Foundation and uh, other individuals like NAMI to make a difference. And um, we really want to talk about it. We want to open up a dialogue without alienating the uh, the you know the Korean contingency or Thai contingency or or putting out misinformation. So definitely this was not a Korean uh, dog meat dog. He is a Korean street dog who was hit by a car and lost his leg. Um, so, and he was unadoptable in Korea. So he came over to be adopted with us. So if you're interested in the coolest little three-legged poodle, this here is Tango and he sleeps like a uh, champ. He slept with me last night. Uh, you know, moved around a little bit. He's a little yappy when it comes to uh, people coming to visit, uh, but he's great. He's just a terrific dog. He works, he does incredibly well off leash and he's just getting better and better. Okay, let's get in some. Wait, who you got, Chris? This is Splinter. This Splinty. Is Master, Master, Master Splinter. Master Splinter. And look at our boys just chilling. You can see um, he's, uh, he's still in kind of nap mode and he's still definitely getting used to affection. Um, there are certain parts of his body when you touch him, almost any time you touch him, he kind of jolts because he can't see. And I think he's just unaccustomed to um, 
to affection, but we're working on that. We're, we're giving him a lot of attention, and uh, but still letting him, him do things on his own time. But he's coming around, as you can see. He's wrapped up in his blankets that you guys sent us, which is awesome. And uh, he's just doing really well. He's, he's figured out his little program. We sit his crate up next to the fireplace every night, and he does his thing. Our uh, blankets here were sent via mail uh, by uh, four-legged blankets, which will there be a link down oh, below. Oh, yeah. Were that fancy? Yeah. There's all kinds of blankets that we got. Uh, pass me that. We got the coolest. Um, this was sent to us in the mail, uh, and we didn't focus on it enough, but it's from Mrs. Swisher at uh, Westmore Oaks Elementary School. So the, Westmore Oaks... This envelope was inside that envelope. Yeah. Westmore Oaks Elementary School sent us too much cool stuff to even be able to showcase in this edition. But I love Panda. All the kids wrote letters to Panda and drew pictures for Panda um, for different classes. So it looks like dozens of kids were involved in this. Um, really, really cool stuff. It just warmed me up. I feel like we should, uh, if I were into arts and crafts or any good at it, I would put this into some form of a collage. But um, look at all the stuff they did. They wrote us letters. Um, Dear Zach and Panda, my class had our second annual Pops for Pups Tootsie Pop sale. We made over $300. Wow. Um, $300. Donating $150 for Panda surgery. Now our class is part of Panda's life. I know our class will be contented if you could bring Panda to our school. That's a long shot, but uh, we'll try to get it done. Uh, Panda currently is with his foster mom, Christy Hackett, who, um, who does a heck of a job. We're currently working on getting him uh, shipped to New York, which we're either going to do through, a, through a, a volunteer who uh, is a flight attendant and offered to ship him, or we're going to have Christy just take him herself uh, you know, in, in on the plane with her because she's small enough. So that's all stuff that's going to be developing in the next couple of weeks. Uh, he'll be going to Social Tea Rescue out there in New York. Um, so there's a lot, a lot cooking, a lot going on. What's next, my man? That's awesome. Guy, is that, is that supposed to be me? I think so. Or the mailman. Mailman? Oh, that's funny. They can't see it anyway. That's funny. So what is next, my man? Uh, I got one more thing, a hard mail. What could it be? What could it be? Which is, was addressed to myself. It, I cheated a little bit. I already know what it is. Oh, really? I don't know what it is. Oh, I know what it is. I'm super excited. What, did you rewrap it? No. I just know what it is. Remember, guys, we got a lot of events coming up, too, between our um, our food giveaway this weekend, the OC Pet Fair this weekend. Oh, you got a, you feel like a Rasta beanie. You better put it on now, man. I am going to put it on now. You have time to see that wonderful head of hair. All right, you look. Fits like a glove, man. A lot of mercy. Cool. Um, yeah, so we got a lot of events coming up that uh, you guys should know. You can always go to our website and check out the calendar. But uh, things are going pretty well. Lots of stuff going on. Um, the first education program happened at the mission where Liz and the rest of the Miracle Mutts crew uh, went to work educating uh, with official curricul curriculum. The uh, yeah, they're not really patients, they're residents of the mission at Kern County where my mom works. So this marks basically three years that we've been working with the mission at Kern County with our dogs, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, and we're looking to expand our program with uh, the Bakersfield Homeless Center and the Alliance Against Family Violence and our boy Lewis Gill. Anytime you have an opportunity to work with organizations like that and people like Lewis, you want to get it done and make it happen. Uh, these dogs can make a big difference in people's lives. And we're really trying to figure out how to best Harness that human canine bond and make a difference with people. Um, just really do what ha apply what happened with me when I got sick and how the dogs, you know, helped me emotionally, physically, spiritually. Uh, we want to do that on a grand scale uh, with people all over Kern County. That's our mission. Um, so uh, thank you guys for, for following us and for checking in. Appreciate it very much. Okay, uh, if you have any questions that you want to get on the show, of course you can email me at. Chris.Sanchez at Marley'sMuts.com. Baloo! Uh, on a really fast note, I also wanted, it's April. It is April. 
So I wanted to announce my... Your birthday, the 27th. No. My running. Dang it. For, uh, I'm trying to get to the marathon yeah. this year. Chris is running the marathon. He's going to break my time in half. Blue. But he's 10 years younger than me. Come here, Blue. So uh, if, if you have uh, any questions on wanting to help uh, uh, getting the team there or making donations for the marathon, uh, please email me. Uh, hopefully I'll also have a link. Uh, if not, I will for sure next next mail Monday. But uh, hope you guys have a very wonderful week. <laughs> I am Christopher Michael Sanchez. I'm Zachary Meatscow. I'll see you on the flip side. Peace. Worlds are changing.